Hello, welcome back to the shop. So, here we go. Interesting little video here, I hope. Um, news came out today that the people who make the screwdrivers for the old Sears Craftsmen, uh, the ones that were made in USA, uh, they're closing the plant. Uh, Stanley Black & Decker is going overseas with it and that plant is closing. Supposedly the, clo the plant was uh, part of Ideal Tools, uh, they're electrical industry tools. Uh, they were associated with, and Ideal's associated with SK tools and whatnot, so they're closing the plant, um, and that's what this WF on the tools is, the Western Forge is what it stands for, and that's who made most of these uh, USA made craftsman screwdrivers over the years. So, closing the plant. I went by one of the local getting spots and they happen to have a few screwdrivers. I always like these craftsman screwdrivers, love them or hate them. Some guys love them, say they're the best screwdrivers ever. Others say they, they, they're awful and they hate them. But I always use these as kind of sacrificial lambs or you know if you're gonna do something that you're gonna beat on it and what have you this is an old one that I've had around the shop for a long time uh, it's held up well I've re ground the tip a few times but it's still holding up good uh, this one's definitely been through it so I thought well the old times are leaving I uh, felt a little nostalgic so I thought I'd get a few I like having pairs of these because when I'm working on things uh, they're actually nice to use to to pry things so you can have one in either hand and they're an equal size and you can you can pry things apart not really what you're supposed to do with screwdrivers but hey that's that's what happens so got a few sizes here uh, I got one five sixteenths I might see if I could find another one um, I got two three sixteenths they should be handy uh, I got two quarters, and I got a Phillips number two. Obviously, won't be using that for that sort of thing. But you know, the extra length screwdrivers are nice to have on hand in the shop. And then I also got this stubby uh, five sixteenths, I believe it is. Yeah, that's a stubby five. Oh, there we go, five sixteenths. So I got the stubby five sixteenths. Um, I do have, uh, as an experimental set of screwdrivers, I got the new Stanley Craftsman 5 16 but you can even see, I don't know for sure, but I thought I bought a matching pair of them. The part number's the same, but the length is not quite the same, and I was hoping that this one uh, newer 5 16 that I picked up would be the same length as one of these and it turns out it's not so so be it um, so far these weren't haven't been bad they haven't been a complete letdown but it is a bummer that they're not made in America I mean simple as something as simple as a screwdriver you know you'd like to think you you know it could be made here uh, comparing these here I can see it appears as though the the Western Forge screwdriver is anchored better than the uh, Chinesium one here. I don't know what AH means. I don't know where they're making them. But that's uh, that's it. That. So yeah, kind of kind of a shame to see some more tools leaving leaving the shores. I know Stanley said that, you know, big big dreams of bringing manufacturing back and everything else, but fortunately, I think it'll be we believe it when we see it and I think it's going to be more common to see things leave than see things stay or come back so uh, rather not get into the politics of all of that but some of these are still out there and this is a closed plant this Western Forge stuff so if you do feel nostalgic or you really like these screwdrivers I've never not liked them they've had their place if you're uh, I favor Klein screwdrivers, but I gotta say, if you're if you're working on oily stuff or whatnot, these Klein screwdrivers can get really slippery. 
So that is one place that these, they're a little better to grip with. They're still not the greatest, but they do clean up better. So it depends on what you're working on, I think, is, is where your expectation levels for the tools will take you. You know, if you're doing some things that are requiring um, a good grip all day that you don't want to slip on things, you may, uh, you may like the rubber grip of a Klein better than the plastic grip here, and it just depends on what you use the tools for. I've always had better luck with the tips on Kleins, especially the Phillips, but you know, it's, it's again potato potato, it's what you like and what you, what works best for your shop. Everybody's got different applications, so hey, there's no pure best tool there ever was for every situation. Everybody uses tools different, again, everybody has different expectations, so I'm just looking at this isn't going to be something that's going to be available any longer, so if I wanted some, I'm going to try and pick some up while I can. So that's all that's about. I uh, picked up a few new tools for the shop today, uh, shared some, some older tools that were in the shop, and uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.